So Cadence or Generate Press? Honestly, I didn't think there could be any better WordPress team than Generate Press or Astra WP, but that's until I met Cadence. My god, this is a new kid on the block and it has absolutely blown me away. In my opinion, it is disrupting the WordPress team industry and I will share with you why in a while. Now, before everything else, I just want to say I love Generate Press and I've been using it for years and I love that the creators stuck to their principles to have their team built with the focus of being lightweight and speedy instead of bloating it up with tons of unnecessary customization. And as much as I love Generate Press, sometimes when it comes to customization, it could be frustrating when you don't understand a single line of code. But if you take a little time to learn and understand these codes, you will love Generate Press because of the speed. So this video is in no way biased because I love both teams, I own both teams, and I play with them regularly, and I'm an affiliate for both teams as well. This will be a very objective comparison, and hopefully if you intend to buy either one of the teams, this video can provide the answer to you. And if you want to thank me for providing the information to you, I'll really appreciate if you can use my affiliate links here. This is for Cadence and this is for Generate Press. Thank you for supporting the channel. So we'll first discover which team loads faster because speed is my number one concern when it comes to a WordPress team. No matter how pretty or rosy a team may seem, if it loads slowly, there is really no point in having it. And then we'll talk about the customizability and the functionality which is the second most important aspect of all. We'll also talk about the support and the price. There is a lot to cover and you definitely want to stick around because I'm going to share with you 9 tips to speed up your WordPress website regardless of the themes you use. So let's go. In case you want to skip around, feel free to use the timestamps in the video description below but I highly recommend that you watch this video all the way through. So let's go again. So now the domain on the left is installed with the Generate Press team while the one on the right is installed with the Cadence team. This is the blank install so nothing else is added to them. Let me show you that they are both hosted on the same server because that's the only way to have a fair comparison. So we'll go to a website called whoishostingthis.com and I'll search for them. So as you can see, the IP address of both websites are the same. They are both hosted on SiteGround which is the web host I'm using for most of my sites. Next, I want to test the performance of the blank installs to see which team is more lightweight. So I'll first go to tools.pingdom.com. We want to make sure that the test location is same for both of them. And let's start the test. So off the bat, we can see that Generate Press has a smaller page size and has lesser requests than Cadence. Generally, the site with more requests should load slower, but in this case, the Cadence team seems to load faster than Generate Press. So now the next thing we want to do is to test the speed performance when we created a page with elements because we can't only rely on blank installs to tell which is better. All web pages have elements and that's what we are going to do. And of course, everything will be the same. We will use the same images, the same plugins, no page builders or caching use. Everything will be native and everything else will be the same. The only difference is the pro plugins. We're going to create a page that looks like this. We have a standard header, some page elements, and basically how a modern homepage will look like. So please have some patience. I'm going to build both sides up from scratch right in front of you, but I'm going to speed it up so you won't be wasting an hour watching me do this. So let's go. So now I will take a pause to show you what plugins have been installed on both teams. So firstly, it is the Pro plugin for both teams. We have the Generate Press Premium here and we have the Cadence Pro here. And then the SG Optimizer here is the standard SiteGrounds plugin that they installed by default. And I haven't done any configuration, so both will be the same. And the only thing that I've added is this Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg because this will help me build a page without any page builders. And the page will load much quicker without using any page builders. So let's go again. Okay, moment of truth. Both pages has been built the same way, but which team loads faster? Let's find out. So first thing, we'll go to Pingdom Tools again, and we'll start the test again. 
So as we can see here, the performance grade for Generate Press is just one point higher than Cadence. And the overall page size, Generate Press is just a little smaller than Cadence. And as for the request, Generate Press has lesser requests than Cadence. And when it comes to the load time, remember when we first tested the blank canvas, Cadence was loading faster than Generate Press. But once we added elements to the page, Generate Press is a little faster than Cadence. So now let's test both sides using the Google PageSpeed Insights. So as we can see here, the performance grade for Generate Press is just a little bit better than Cadence. So in terms of speed, Generate Press is still the top contender, but the margin of difference is not very wide. Though Generate Press came above, Cadence isn't very far away, so honestly, the speed of both teams are comparable. Okay, now that we know that the Generate Press team loads a little faster than Cadence, let's talk about the customizability. And without me saying anything, I know you probably caught the drift at the start of this video, but if you haven't, let's talk about it. So when it comes to themes, you are basically talking about the customizability of the header, the footer, the sidebars, the menus, the page and post layout, and the overall look and feel of the site. And in just a while, I will share with you why I think Cadence is disrupting the WordPress team industry. But let's just compare the customizability of the header and the footer, and you'll get a gist of which is more user-friendly. So let's say I want to add a get started button that looks like this, and I want to add some social icons above the menu. Let's see how easy it is to do in Cadence. So on the WordPress dashboard, go to appearance and customize then under header once you click it you will see a variety of options for you to drag and drop to this section here let's first do the navigation button for both generate press and cadence and then we will move on to the social buttons now as you can see if i want to add a button right beside the menu all i need to do is to drag this button element right beside the primary menu and if i scroll up you'll see a button right here and if i want to edit this I will click on this gear and the customization options will appear. I will change the label to get started. I can put in a button link here. Change the design of the button to outline instead of fill. And you can see the difference immediately, but there is no border outline sets. I can do this in a while. And what's awesome here is the developer has put in some thought for a membership site. You can display the button for everyone or for people who have logged in or out of your site. So if your site is a membership or an e-commerce site, this is quite a cool feature to have. Now to change the design of the button, click on design. You can change the size of the button, change the color of the text, the border color, You can even add a round border, add shadow, and all these adjustments for button. So it's relatively easy to use. Let's save this and let's see how easy it is for Generate Press. Now on the Generate Press customize function, you will not see any options to add a button on the navigation. You'll either have to do a search on either the forum or search it on Google. The cool thing about Generate Press is that their documentation and support are open to the public so it's easy for you to find the fixes as you can see here. But I can't say the same for the implementation because you gotta understand some codes. So to implement this, I will have to copy this code, then go to the customizer under additional CSS. I'll have to paste the code here. But that's not all. You have to copy this. This is the name assigned to this CSS class. I will show you in a while how it works but let me save this first. Then we will have to go back to the WordPress dashboard and then under appearance, menus, I'll have to click on the screen options on the top right. Then I need to make sure that this CSS classes is checked. So once this is checked, if I expand this menu item, you should see this CSS class here. If that is unchecked, we will not see this option. Then you will want to paste what we have just copied and save the menu. Let's check it out. So we can see the button here. If you want to customize this button, you got to understand some codes. You have to research the color codes you want and paste it at the right area. And to make this button have a hover option, it is another set of code, which I will not get into. So it's definitely not user friendly. Now let's move on to adding social icons like this. Let's go to Cadence first. We just need to drag social right above navigation. 
you will see it appear almost immediately on a page giving you the live view so you can edit the look and feel of it much easier and if i want to edit this same thing you just need to click on the gear and all the customization options will appear you can add more social buttons there are about 30 of them add more space in between the buttons add the social links and you can customize the look and feel under design you can change the size of the icon use the brand colors of the social media platforms or not so for me i would prefer to have a transparent background and we can do all these customizations as well and there we have it everything here is intuitive and easy to use now with generate press there are no inbuilt social media icons i had to do some search on google and discovered I need to add an additional plugin called the lightweight social icons. So if I go back to the WordPress dashboard, under plugins, add new, lightweight social icon. This is the plugin and is developed by the lead developer of Generate Press, so it should be good. So I'll install it, activate. Once done, I have to go to appearance widgets and I'll have to drag this lightweight social icons to the top bar. Do some editing. And because you can't see the changes live, you probably have to toggle around. You have to add the icons. And if this is what you want, you save it. And that's how it works with Generate Press. If you want the brand colors of these social media platforms, there is no easy fix here. And there isn't a lot of customizable functions here. Now here's the thing, let's test the performance of both sites again on Pinkdom Tools because we have added a new plugin. And we just need to make sure that it didn't affect the site performance. Now before I show you the results, remember when I first did the test, we only had 16 requests for Generate Press and 20 requests for Cadence. Now let's see if there is any difference. Remember, the more requests we have, the poorer the site performance. So as we can see here with Cadence, there is no change in the number of requests. But for Generate Press, it has added 3 more requests just because we have added some social icons. While the impact of the performance is not big, I would say it is not ideal because adding the plugin did not make it easy to customize and it dampens a little on the performance. So that's the gist of adding social icons on Cadence and Generate Press. Now there is one point I want to mention after testing out Cadence for a while is that it does not have an option for us to remove the header and the footer. Now this is important for me because I don't like using page builders to create a landing page because it slows down the website by a lot. Like for example on Cadence, there is no option for me to hide the logo, the menu, the social icons, as well as the footer. I've tried searching for answers on the forum and the documentation but I couldn't find an answer. While on Generate Press, it is just a check of the box to disable the elements and those elements will be gone. I can even have a full blank page if I want to. So in terms of customizability, user friendliness and functionality, I would say Cadence is leap and bound ahead of Generate Press, but Cadence isn't foolproof at least for my case. Now the reason I say Cadence is disrupting the WordPress team industry is because no existing teams out there allows you to customize the header, the footer, the layouts freely without any blockage. Like for example, in the free Generate Press team, you will have very minimal customization options. You can only change the layout of the header. There are only so many things you can change here, but you can't change the colors of the header here. You need the premium team. There are not a lot of things you can do with the free version of the Generate Press team. But with the free version of the Cadence team, you can basically customize your site to look like any premium teams out there. Just like adding the social icons and the menu buttons, they are all in the free team. And with the pro version, these are the things they are charging you on. You have 20 more header elements if the free ones are not enough. You can hook stuff you have created from a page builder to all or specific pages or posts using the hook elements. The hook element in Generate Press only allows codes in there. You can easily create nested drop-down tables while in Generate Press it is possible but again you need codes. You can have fixed elements like the banner which is great for Google AdSense or other ad platforms. With Generate Press again codes. And then 
you can load local gravitas instead of loading it elsewhere, thus making the site loads faster if your site accepts comments or reviews. This is especially helpful for bloggers or e-commerce stores and it just makes sense. Now, although I've been mentioning that you need lots of codes and stuff with GeneratePress and it seems like it is not user-friendly for beginners, the plus point for GeneratePress is their support channel. Generate Press puts a huge focus on their support forum, which makes up for their lack of customizability. If you have any questions or you need something to be fixed, or you need some customization, and you'll get an answer within 24 hours, and most of the time, within an hour. At least that's my experience. So even if you don't understand a single line of code, the support channel is very helpful, they are fast and they get the job done. The best thing is they have a mature documentation and it is searchable on the search engines. So it's easy for you to find answers without contacting the support. Now with Cadence, because they are kind of new, the documentation is not as matured as Generate Press. There is a lot more room for improvement, but I'm pretty sure they'll catch up with Generate Press pretty soon. So with Generate Press, there are two support options. There is the fully mature documentation and their open support forum managed by some awesome people. In Cadence, there are three support options. They have the documentation, the open support forum, as well as the ability to send support tickets. The Generate Press Premium team costs $59 per year. Currently, there's a discount going on, but otherwise, the regular price will be $59. You can check out the links in the description for the latest discounts. But anyway, the Cadence Pro costs $69 per year. And I would like to mention that a lot of features that require the Generate Press Premium team can be achieved with the free Cadence team. Now, the Cadence team is just one of its products. They have several other plugins and themes as well, like the Cadence blogs that add more functionality functionality to your WordPress editor, they have the free version and a premium version. For Generate Press, they have something like this as well. It is called Generate Blocks, which is absolutely free, but it does not come with more block options than the free Cadence Blocks. The Cadence plugins include these as well. All these plugins, the Cadence Blocks Pro, the Cadence Pro team, cost $169 per year. I wouldn't necessarily go for the lifetime memberships for any themes or plugins because the environment is constantly changing and there will always be a new kit on a block that knocks out all competition in the future. That's why I never purchase any lifetime memberships though it makes sense right now. So let me sum this comparison up by saying hard coders may not like the Cadence team as much as the Generate Press team. That's what I read from some forums. I'm not a coder myself though I understand a little bit of them but if you are a coder or a developer let me know in the comments would you prefer generate press team or the cadence team i personally feel that if you don't understand a single line of code it would make more sense to go with cadence because it is more user friendly but if you are a hard coder you might prefer generate press i love both teams i've been using generate press for years there was a learning curve when using generate press but thereafter everything was smooth sailing i just got my hands on cadence and i fell in love with it as well because it gave me the functionality without sacrificing much on speed. That's my take on both teams and if you want to purchase either of the teams, I hope you can get it with my affiliate links in the description to support the toy money for my 2 year old. But I think the clear winner here is Cadence, especially for beginners who do not understand a single line of code. If you feel differently, feel free to share with me your opinions in the comments. Thank you for sticking around and if this video did provide value, can you do me a little favor and smash that thumbs up button? It will really help this video and the channel so if you have smashed that thumbs up, thank you for that. I truly appreciate you. Also, as promised, I want to give you 9 tips to speed up your WordPress website dramatically. So if you have site speed problems, I hope this video on the right can help you improve your site speed rating. And even if you're totally new to building a WordPress website, this video will help because no matter what, as your site grows, speed issues will surface and this video will help you minimize those problems. Awesome! I'll see you in the next video.